Hi, it's Gwyneth on a fabulous Feel Good Friday saying good morning from the Vienna International Centre in Vienna where I am looking forward to meeting some fabulous people this morning and as ever, helping those that I work with, people just like you, to find out what you're brilliant at so that you then get brilliant about talking about it so that you can market yourself professionally without feeling completely the and find a job that you really, really do love. And this, my work becomes more and more pertinent. This week I had, uh, I held another lunchtime masterclass for international organizations where we talked about how to manage toxic co-workers. Now toxic is a very strong word of course but if you're in a working relationship where you're going in every day and you feel potentially as if you're being bullied or harassed or threatened that is toxic and that is not doing you any good and unfortunately it's not toxic for the person who's doing whatever it is you think they're doing it's toxic for you it will make you ill and I mean, we had some fantastic questions, but one of the most difficult things to grasp about emotional intelligence is that nobody can actually make you feel or respond in a particular way unless you choose to do so. Now you will have been re responding, reacting, feeling in a certain way for 20, 30, 40 years. That's who you are. It depends on your values. It depends on your beliefs. It depends on your teachers, on, on your parents and how you were brought up. But from an emotional intelligence perspective, you choose those emotions. So it's up to you to challenge those reactions and those responses. That can be very difficult. It's not something that can just happen overnight. You know, it can take weeks, it can take months. Even now, when I know everything I do, sometimes I really still have to just catch myself and say, oh, where's the evidence for that? And, and challenge myself to flip negative things that, that I might be thinking. No, I don't think negative things about people ever. Of course I don't. But do you know what I mean? And and there was a lot about quest, questions around, you know, but what if this happens and what if that happens and what if so-and-so does, um, does this and what if my boss is treating me like this? If you're in a really bad situation, if you feel like things are getting bad, then the first thing you absolutely need to do is to document every single conversation. And it doesn't matter if you send it to somebody else. Send it to yourself, but make sure it is documented so that there is a time and there is a date. The second thing uh, you need to do is, you know, talk to somebody. Particularly in international organizations, you frequently got people that you can go and speak to. But many times, by the time you feel like you want to speak to somebody, you've already gone so far down energetically that it's very, very difficult to get up. And those people, those mediators, whatever you want to call them, they are not gonna be able to solve your problems for me. Then for you. They're not gonna be able to say to the other person, now behave, be good. It's about finding common ground and then finding a common solution. But the other thing you can do is remember that you do have a choice and if it's too much, get out. It's not up to you to prove to other people that that person giving you a hard time is a bully, is a harasser, is somebody who, who is, is threatening other people. You cannot deal with those problems on your own. It is not up to you to solve those problems. It is the issue potentially of HR, of a disciplinary board, of people further up the chain, regardless of which, other, which grade you're up to. So please look after yourself first. And like I said, you always have a choice. If it really gets too much, find another job. Find people that you do enjoy working with. Find people that you respect your, um, your contribution that you're making. And find people where you really feel a part of the team. Now again, that's not something that will happen overnight. It could take several months. And in general, when I'm working with people, I usually say that from, from, from start to finish to you know when you're actually looking to apply for a job to actually getting a job, it can usually take around six months with commitment. And today I want to start you off by giving you free access, have never done this before, free access to the 10 interview questions that you must have the answers to if you want to stay ahead of the competition. So use the link with this post, depending on where you're watching it, it will be in the comments or it will be um, below somewhere, but get your free download of those 10 interview questions that you must have the answers to. Start preparing today. Don't put up with whatever is happening. Don't just tolerate, take action. Take responsibility for yourself. Look after yourself first and foremost. Go out and do something about it. And 
And on that positive note, I wish you a fabulous Feel Good Friday, an amazing weekend, loads of love and bye for now.